so this is the two star nautilus spat with our two star uh kindred let's do this okay so the kindred saga starts we got the news that there won't be any new maps or champions added this time when the patch comes so we'll continue the saga uh so okay okay so kindred is quite high for this path so due to that reason i am replacing kindred's attachment to a common attachment which is a challenger which basically every player would normally have right so even though he has two slots and a rare slot attachment i'm just making it sure that we don't get too overpowered for this path even though my level is quite high as it is so we can use at least rare attachments around 2.5 at the end of 2.5 paths i mean okay so let's out of these powers you should go for when you have an uh, when you summon an ally granted cures to everything everyone that's pretty good because kindred has challenger that means if you play kindred after everyone else is summoned everyone else will have challenger yeah so we'll keep the entire path as low as possible so that we don't make too overpowered so we can breeze through it because uh, my videos are normally for people who are you know starting off and they would want to look at a video on how to do it so you don't want to play, play too much overpowered shit even though his level is super high 15 is a lot for this fight at least don't worry it's gonna get balanced when we reach kaisa by the time i reach kaisa and shit i'm gonna get bashed anyways okay should play it slow we let our prey survive we don't have to attack you can't even technically attack dude has full hp okay okay so can't play yeah kindred because that dies but we can play this one uh do we play yeah that one because they're gonna drag this one that one although okay we can do this one as well we can kill this one uh have the spear ready and we can go for that one spear is five damage so let's just do this yeah kill kill nice getting rid of this one is more important than the other one we go next play kindred kindred is gonna pass on the challenger to everyone nice it's basically uh, Zoe's level up. See, dude. Oh, that guy has 5 HP. Let's do this then. Kill it and bring it back. You mark that one. Kill it as well. Super. Even with common attachment, Kindred is strong. But Kindred will, like, Kindred looks like it's really good, which to a certain extent is true. However, Kindred will struggle a lot in the upper levels, I can assure you. He's not, she, he's, she's not actually as amazing as I thought she would be at the start. So yeah, that's another problem with Kindred. Mm, we pass. We kill the Ranger with the uh, Bone Spear, not Bone Spear, Black Spear and swing and finish them off. <laughs> yeah, normally I always follow the trend of Nautilus, Draven, Victor, Kaisa, Trish, Galio and Alien Soul. The, the path. That's the same path I took for everyone anyways, okay. So yeah, not expecting it to be too difficult. Kindred is a little higher level. But even if he, she wasn't, we would be fine. Kindred's kill, skill, kill capability is pretty high. Okay, we'll take this one. Heals as well as gives a straw, which we are technically struggling to get good draws. I mean, okay. So Kindred is four. We want something of lower, which is, this is actually pretty, pretty fine. Yes, Colossal Hammer is just a three mana of four, five. Uh, it's either this one or this one any one of them i'll take this one a little bit more towards my like style poison dart skill stuff that can mark okay devour and yeah we're gonna go for the shop side shop gets priority yeah we're gonna breeze through at least victor i mean i'm expecting the struggling to start around yeah kaisa's path trash is gonna be more pain. yeah <laughs> trendy mirror fight is gonna be super pain with this one Okay, play Timu. Okay, they're attacking. Okay, play this one. Okay, or we can just pass to this. Question is, do we do it? Nah, we lose tempo. Might as well take the damage right now at the moment. Oh, it gives elusive. Super. Not the greatest, of course. We got another Timu. We can do this here. Pierce some that. That sucks. That's fine, we didn't go for Timo. Okay, do we have enough? 15? No, we don't actually have enough. 5, 5, 10. We are 5 short. Just go next. 
This is Ash. Okay, no, it's not an Ash fight. Mm. Okay, give that. We do this. Yeah, everybody has quick attack. Eat. Okay, block it like this. I'm gonna throw. I'm gonna pull my ear back into my hand. Take the trade. Well, it's actually a nice combo. This, this is a nice combo to know. We do that, comes back, and then gives everyone a little The player is getting a little is counterproductive, though. That's for sure. Okay. We play the Prodigy. Go for yes, swipe by us. We can just sacrifice our Emu. Get mana back. Swing. I think it's fine. This is fine. Okay, this dies is fine as well. You're dishing out damage. That's most important. Actually, no. I should just keep the dude alive. You haven't played... Even though I played <laughs> Kindred enough, I haven't played Kindred enough, if that makes any sense. Okay. Yeah, let's just play the one. Oh, no. They were going to drag it. I should've, shouldn't have done it. It's fine. I have a yeah on our side. Uh, yeah. Let's pass. Let them drag it. Kill, bring it back. Yeah, play super bad, weirdly. Doing a lot of damage as well. Let's do power kindred. There we go. Kindred is gonna give quick attack challenger to everyone, that's why. Seven, swipe by us. We play the yeah, first buff first. Because of that reason, so that the frostbite comes later. Get this one, this one. Kill, kill. Should be fine. Then we'll just go next. Kill that one. You have a blocker with that one. Okay, yeah. Honorable with that one. Yeti, fine by us. I'm just gonna absorb the uh, prey. One for Timu. You shuffle. <laughs> yeah, you're protecting him pretty well, actually. This is actually a very good combo, if you think about it. It's good to know this combo. Just take it out. This one will die. These two have to be blocked, though. Uh, pop. And this should be fine. Let's just kill this one. We'll play this one against another one. Okay, we're gonna play this one on the, onto the Yaz one. Pray one. We got a free pray, right? Yeah, we do. If we play this, yeah, we won't have board space. So let's just go next. It's fine. Because we got a pray exactly. Play this one on this pray. Mark it. Fine. Timu dies. This time I'm not gonna protect it. Or oh, I can still protect it. <laughs> How many times he got aimed? Holy shit. Yeah, we just swing. All of them are elusive enemies. Super. Yeah, sharing of keywords with Timu is actually hilarious. I didn't even think about it in that way. But it's funny. True, true. We can't actually play slow like this against Nautilus. Also, Jaw is pretty decent. This one is also pretty. It gives us two bodies on the board. Four mana is a lot, though. Yeah, but this gives us impact across the board. Uh, I'll take this, though. A draw at the moment is way more important than anything else. Okay, so power. Nab is not the greatest. When you summon an ally, get plus one plus is pretty decent. Uh, moving on to the next one. When you summon an ally, ne enemy nexus damage. Oh, I don't have enough gold for that one. Uh, it's, a, it's a common pit stop, so I will take a reroll here. No. Give the weakest ally vulnerable. I'll take that one. Not the greatest, but it's fine. Gold. Item. Spell. I'm gonna go for the gold side. I'm technically very low on gold at the moment. I bought two powers in two back-to-back -back pit stops. And I hate this fight. Ah, I hate this fight so much. Oh, no, I don't like this fight. Even higher up, even if you're higher level, this fight is those fights that you can actually lose if the treasure troves hit you badly. Especially the enemies one. And if you get horrible treasure trove yourself, you also lose. Okay, Timo will give everyone elusive. So at the moment, let's play this. Quick attack on everyone. Oh, Alex get plus one, plus one. Temporary this round. This, the one will go away. Everything will go away. Yeah. 
It's still fine. One temporary round pop is pretty good. Play prankster, start developing her. Then we can play, yeah. Kindred and start giving everyone challenge and pick attack. Elusive country, do anything about that. You play Kindred, Challenger, quick attack to everyone. Hmm. Kindred squad is so slow. You look at it, how many things you can't play. Just do this. And do the damage. 16 damage, there you go. And even it's slow, it can actually do good combos. Nice. We didn't do anything fancy. We just got a little lucky with the orders of things we played. Actually, very good. I would rather have a fast win against this one than any other hit. Holy shit. This this fight is painful. It can go super RNG. Okay. So 100 gold extra is good. 300 gold. Which is good for us. We, do, we need a heal. Oh, 7 heal is not the worst. But actually, I prefer a cut on the protege. I'll take a cut on the protege. Dude sucks. It's a five mana. Holy shit. Five mana in Path of Champions like 10 years. For it to come on the board. Mm. I'll take this. Two, two. Meaning I can play something on for her first and second turn. You definitely want to play something. They play Poros and shit, right? I have to start with Impact. Yeah, that's a dude. That's a painful one to deal with. Okay. Uh, this is zero mana. Go on, H1. It's fine. Let's draw to see what we can get. Audible. For us, I mean. Uh, I'm not gonna attack into that one. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I will attack into that one. Because this buff is temporary, but that, that stat line is permanent. Level less attacker to block with. The 3 3 stat line is permanent, but my dude's stat line is temporary. Claw something I know 4 attack power with. It technically doesn't have anything with 4 attack power. That sucks. Ugh. I might actually have to... Oh, yeah. Oh. Okay, let's travel up for the time. Let's take the hit for the time being. I'll kill the poor obviously. I'll kill the poor, poor obviously. We'll take the hit from this girl, though. Can't really block that. Mm. We play pop into Trimu to get elusive. Kindred is also here. I'm still gonna do the pop strategy. I wanna do short damage at the moment. They're out there. I'll spot them. Super. Frostbite. It doesn't kill, it just force frostbites it. It's fine. We'll dish out our two four damage. You have to be careful of how much stacks you give to Shijwani. Shijwani does one. Okay, well, yeah, spirit is uh, spirit journey is zero, so we can flip this one. Yeah, we can now do the combo. Okay, so now we let's do the block. Okay, kindred here, gray here, yeah, here. You're stopping the attack from giving stack to Sejuani. That's a lot of damage to face, actually. Uh, we'll skip go next. If they go for uh, Kennedy, we are also okay with it. Pop will give nothing actually. So let's just attack like this. All of them are elusive, so it's just pretty good. Okay, here you go. This is actually pretty nice. We'll just do this. Save our Kindred. Make sure the damage. Yeah, see, even even if Kindred is high level, do you see how much how much pain this fight is causing? So it's not going to be an easy path. But Kindred is not as amazing as I thought she would be. She is. You need actually a lot of tactics to do. How much we're struggling at 20 HP and 11 HP. Lost 30, 10 HP here. Sejuani is coming, yeah. Sejuani is going to go directly for Kindred. Mm. Get this. Question is who is gonna drag with Kidnet? Yeah, that's the question. Yeah, smart, super smart AI. Very smart AI. Can't really do anything about that. I can't actually even sacrifice my Kindred at the moment. I need her. Because she she's the most viable way to kill Yeah, Sejuani. And that she <laughs> Yeah. She yeah, 
She had, she has regen. Yeah, that's pain. Can, this can't even kill her. Unfortunately. Uh, I'll take this one. Spell shield is nice. Yeah, this is the actually the best time I can get it. So what I'll do is I'm e immediately kill this one with this one, so uh, yeah, Sejuani gets marked. As as Kindred is protected by spell shell, she she's going to be fine. Do this and kill that one. I think they should be fine, right? Yeah, they should be good. So we got them to the kill and kill this and kill that. Yeah, there we go. See, we <laughs> how much damage did we take? Yeah, a lot. Nice. If I was thinking I will breeze through the path, clearly not. Holy shit, 16 damage to Fizzle. Almost get killed there. Okay, so one extra draw is pretty good. I'll give it to Timo. Cheap one, one, one mana, one draw is pretty good. Not to mention the fact that he gets elusive to everyone. And he also has, yeah, right? Farsight alteration on him. Yeah, super. You know, I always have him in the start. Okay, this is actually going to be very good. This is actually disgusting with Kindred. Now his his squad will get a super power spike. One of the strongest powers for Kindred raiding party. Um, pretty nice. Okay, I get here back. What's that dude called? Timu. I don't want to. Yeah. Okay, so he. Oh, it's Julian. Yeah, okay, the Poro fight. Super dangerous fight. Super duper dangerous fight. You have to be very careful here. You have to just let them do a lot of damage at the start. We can't we can't actually contest them. At least we have Timu who can give us a loser. They're summoning a portal, right? Yeah, they I will still attack. Yeah. I'll try my best to dish out a little bit of time. We have raiding party, yeah. We have raiding party. Makes it actually makes a lot of sense for us to actually attack. Okay. It's 4 4, pretty nice. Play our prankster. And already it starts. Oh my god, dude. This summons three portals for zero, Anna. I don't want to lose my quick attack like that, though. It's fine. This is actually much better. Raiding party. Every hit is a raiding party. Every hit is a raiding party. Let's see what we get. Oh my god! Okay, let's pass. Keep this one here. Six, and that's actually quite big. Let's go for the Ya yeah one. Yeah, this that will grow. Technically, can't drag with this one. Actually, I could have done it better. I could have dragged with this one and killed with that one. I would have died it's the same way, though. True. Killed. He's gonna go after a kindred now. It's fine. We have our spirit journey on us. Now, where did that one run off to? I could play this. <laughs> Seven eight. Pass. Biscuits. Ugh. Man, the Poro fight has always been the toughest. The Poro is the toughest red, red fight, I think. Look upon me. Uh, kindred. An interplay. He's pulling like this. Can't really do. Can't save this one. Yeah, ready, but he's gonna activate again. Oh, we lost both of the pranksters. That's gonna suck. Oh no, we didn't lose. Did not. One parent still survived. The amount of damage Prankster alone gives. If Kindred's passive wasn't enough, the prep combo wasn't enough. Look at this one. The, the raiding party one. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. 7 5. Okay, not the craziest, but <laughs> I thought it'd be higher. <laughs> but still pretty crazy. Okay, let's play Timu. Give everyone a Lucif. They don't have any elusive blockers, so we just do the shot of damage. 26 damage is a lot. Pretty nice. And each 6 plus do the next one. If we can survive the next one, that is it, we will probably. Shouldn't be that difficult. 
one. Three damage left. Kindred's pretty good. Ooh, 12 to 11. So we can sacrifice our Kindred here. We won't, we won't pull to protect Kindred here. Yeah. We won't save our Kindred. We'll let our Kindred try. Let Kindred. Let our Kindred die. It's fine. Keep our team alive though. Uh, yeah, okay, let our cute team alive. Let our let our two survive and you'll be fine. It's actually going for the same one. You should kill them, right? Okay. Oh, because Pe yeah died first. Okay, we can just do this. Never won. The other. Play this. The breath takes the water. This prey will grow. Just go next. Both of them will grow actually. Okay, not one of one of them will grow. Okay, it's not like us. Okay, is there any way to do decent? Okay, yeah, there we go. Team alone kills it, and this is also elusive. Oh, because it's this one. They should be fine. Yeah, both of them kills it. Nice. Yeah, if we hadn't shared the keywords, we'd be in serious trouble. We couldn't bypass them. The amount of bodies that they have. The only reason we won is because of the epic power, or it would be super pain. Kindred doesn't do well with sp spawn strategy. Struggling with a level 15 champion on Nautilus Path. Yeah, the future is gonna be pretty grim for us, holy shit. Okay, let's put more stats on our prankster. LSMI is minus one. Summon an info copy of my champion. Okay. There's another pit stop, so I don't actually wanna use my reroll, so no time being. I'm just gonna do an info copy of Timu. Yeah, we'll have double team on us. That's pretty badass. Okay, let's leave to see what's on the other side. Reverse row, champion attachment. Okay. I will take this one. It's very pretty good power to have. Uh, can we buy anything or do we want to buy anything? Not really. Six mana heal is not necessary. We are pretty high in HP. Giving Fury to this guy is pretty decent. I have another dude in mind. Yeah, I would give Fury to this guy. Just have another copy of this. Re reverse row is something that I wouldn't want. And I will go for the champion attachment on the op opposite side. <clears throat> Nine powers against Nautilus. Not the worst. Yeah, the epic power that makes you share the keywords is actually pretty, the most de like crazy combo at the moment on our side. We just need to we just need to develop a whiteboard and play Timu. And as we always have Timu in our hand, that's not going to be too much big of too big of a problem. Yeah, so immediately play Timu. Give that uh, we get informal copy of Timu. So that's a lot of damage. Yeah, super six damage. Uh, double mushrooms. That's pretty good. Oh, oh man. Heal. Okay, so remember this fight, they have board wipe. So you have to be super careful. They have it that stairs. So you be very careful with what you put on the board. Not to mention the fact that they skip turns in terms of mana. Ugh, another pain. Shit, do we have 10 cards? Oh, we do have 10 cards. Mm, let's just block like this. Okay, even if they have board wipe, board wipe does damage, it's not obliterate, so they will take damage from prey if they do the combo. Seven. Seven is the turn that it comes, right? Yeah, seven is the turn that it comes. So we'll just attack like this. I don't want to I don't want to play anything because if they board wipe I need mana to play something on the board if I try to replace them and they play that thing then we're gonna be in serious trouble okay man they're healing that's the most annoying part okay let's lower the attack power of the uh, let's lower the HP of the unit so that if they play they it that stairs they kill their own units as well obviously kill that oh shit I need to kill that okay I can still kill this uh, do damage here Definitely take the mana out. I should have gone for that dude. That dude's gonna grow now. Got no champions on our side at the moment. Like, other than our team move. It comes with that stairs. Yeah, obviously. Three damage to everything, you know. See, so the reason why they do or they obliterate the landmark is because majority of the units in their side are three. They will not use the three damage to everything if they if they if they have a lot of units on their side that dies as well. That's the reason why I went for the unit. And thank God they did it. Because if they had done three damage to everything, we would have lost too many units, we would be in serious trouble as it is. Okay. So let's do a war mother, mask mother, I mean. So block that one. Block, block, block. The seven damage from the death of the 
upgrades. There were 15 time bombs, if nothing else. Just play this. Holy shit. Two mana pop. This is fine, right? Yeah. Kill them, take them out. I kinda need one more space in case Kindred comes. I don't wanna replace something. Oh god. A best point into. Best point for me to use this one right now. The dev use, yeah. They did, they did reach, yeah, in like moment, okay. Okay. Pop blocks this. Highest HP. Blocks this. Blocks this, do this. <laughs> the best moment I can use this right now at the moment. Just take it out. We'll do our damage to the thing. Play another prey. Yeah, we are not getting our kindred. Dude's on a vacation, dude. Kindred, no. That's fine, just absorb the uh, pop. Is that it? That's chairs again. It's fine. Attack with everything they die to. Attack with everything they take to kill die. Onward forever. Killing this makes no difference. They are full a full mana at, as it is. I just don't want them to block uh, block this guy. Okay, they can't technically block his fearsome. Oh my god, dude! <laughs> kindred. How many cards do we have left? Fifteen, yeah. Kindred at the lower part of the deck. Yikes! No. This sucks. God, fury though. Highest is this one. Second highest is this one. This one. This one. So what did I even do? Okay, yeah. Okay, I don't want to actually resummon it. If they, re if you resummon that, he's just gonna summon another card from the deck. I mean, whatever's coming is big, but still, it's not, it's not an excuse. If I play this, I have to replace something next turn. If I get kindred, let's just put more mushroom in the deck. 58. How is it? How are they still alive with 58 mushrooms? Yeah. yeah, that's a good question. How the hell are they, all, are they alive with 52? Yeah, 54 mushrooms. Yeah, just back with everything. We do a lot of damage to the thing as well as we have two double prankster and mushrooms to finish 108 if they don't die next turn and if i don't get kindred next turn i swear bs i call bs i, I call conspiracy if i don't get kindred right now the round 10. see ultra bs ultra bs i still don't have kindred well i just stalled the game down ah this is the reason why i said that this is the reason why I said that Kindred is going to struggle in the higher pets. You think other higher pets are going to let you do what we just did? Holy shit. You're going to get bodied instantly. Okay. Free attack Kindred is hilarious. Well, free attack, yeah, Timu is even more hilarious. I'm going to give it to Timu. He'll level up in one turn. I mean, he'll level up in the first turn. Okay. How much damage did we take? 23, 3, 9 damage. We will take the full heal then. Because we can't technically use the gold as it anyway, right? So might as well take the full heal. Okay, so the 2-star uh, Nautilus fight without 2-star Kindred. Kindred is a little high level, but he has only common attach one common attachment on him, which is Challenger. Should be fun. We are balanced to a certain extent. Yeah, even then we are struggling. Okay. Let's I should throw... Yeah, because he has far side alteration. Damn it, damn it. I always make that mistake. 
We play D move, we attack hit. Get mushrooms in. Or he will she yeah, he will level up this round. Super. So we just have to attack every turn and uh put as much as much as mushrooms as possible in the tank. Because if the game slows down, we need the mushrooms to win. Even though we had Kindred this turn, but Devour is coming on turn six, so you have to be super wary about that one. You play our prankster, I guess. Yeah, we're playing everything on a curve. Let's just sacrifice Timu now. We can sacrifice Timu, yeah. This is a much better strategy. Sacrifice Timu so we can play another Timu next round. This is much more efficient. You play our prankster. Keep prankster like the way it is. We play Timu. Holy shit! One minute seven seven Timu. Inform a copy will be eight eight. Anchoring, ah, oh, makes sense. But I can, I can do it better, right? Oh, whoa! I didn't know the combo worked like that. Super. That was absolutely beast of a combo. Holy shit! Nah, I don't need to do shot more damage. Oh my god! How much was it? <laughs> 160, 174, I think. Holy shit! What a crazy uh, on turn four, 174. There we go. I think we pass and we just win. We get to play card or we burn. That's actually a naughty combo. I even never think of it in that way. There we go. Nice. What a funny way to finish the game. <laughs> Hundred and seventy four. Shit. Okay, so the two star Nautilus path done with our two star kindred. Let's see what we get. Should be A, I guess. Yes, no idea. Okay, so champion achievement in power discussion time. Timu is the MVP, obviously. You saw what he did last game, the last fight against Nautilus. So f yeah, I got Timu with far side alteration. Draw me if I'm not in your hand. Then I gave him a, a philosopher's stone, making him when I play, I draw one. It's decent. One mana draw is pretty good. And of course, quick played, uh, which is which quick quick slide quick strike played where when you play him he strikes for free as you have an informal copy of power as well for free strike that means free strike and double attack that means she will level up on turn one always if you have that attack on turn one the first turn you attack you always level him up pretty crazy okay so the powers uh round start refill your spell mana pretty decent uh, a lot of cards in your a uh, few there are few spells in your deck so you never have to worry about banking mana like the black spear and uh the spirit journey so you never have to worry about mana if you have this power pretty decent if i'm a copy of a champion when you summon it's pretty disgusting because in front you'll have an informal copy of timu and timu is absolutely monstrous you saw what he did the uh, first in the last fight against Nautilus okay whenever you do then uh, damage to the enemy nexus the next card that you drag is plus one plus an absolutely monstrous power for kindred squad because of the prey combo and the uh, prankster combo absolutely nutty you saw that Timo was 7-7 seven, seven on turn 4 so no joke okay round start give the weakest enemy vulnerable this turn a decent power I didn't have a I didn't have the scope to change the power so might as well took it it's decent it's okay when you summon an ally for the first time you give it plus one plus one the that that round that you summon it's okay decent not the worst uh puts timo out of the range of one mana spell of kills so it's not the worst of course this is the most Im disgusting power that we got at the start of the entire path which is basically shading is scaring when you summon an ally grant its keywords to all allies that means it's basically um zoe level two anything that we play will share its keywords timo will give everything on the board uh elusive kindred will give everything on the board challenger and uh quick attack and any other keyword any other on any other unit will pass it on pretty disgusting of course this is kind of super power every game starts you get one extra mana and create a spirit journey in hand if you already have one reduces cost by two if you uh, this is kinder's one star power 
round star summon a prey if you already have one instead grant your prey last prey deal one to the enemy nexus if you have multiple preys on the board all of the preys will get plus one to the enemy nexus every round they survive and after five rounds each prey will do five damage each like tick damage not like once five solid damage so each of the damage will stack up raiding party making it an absolute monster of a power uh, combo in kindred squad and of course last but not least game such a heal your nexus for two to support it